Good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is the day we say goodbye to our husband and our dad. Ugh. I was gonna show you the barnyard at night because it's really, really cool. But I noticed that the light is out. Usually when I go to bed at night, this whole area over here where the barnyard is, is all lit up and it looks amazing. And then there's a light down there. But I guess Sam has it programmed to turn off at night. It is 5.12. All right, is everybody in here? No. No. <laughs> Who are we waiting for? <laughs> Same person all the time. I love you, I'll see you tomorrow if I make it. Stop. <laughs> We're dropping Sam off at the hospital. We all got up to go and drop him off. We're we'll gonna wear a mask. We'll be back to pick him up. It's foreshadowing, it's a black mask. Stop! This is already so stressful, I hate this. All right. Bye. Bye. I know that you will. That everything seems This is so sad. Saddest thing, you guys. That was the saddest thing. I hate this. I hate leaving him there. He's just having day surgery. It makes me sad, though. Only one person is allowed to be in there, and it's early in the morning, and we have to go home and take our animals out, and Gabby has to go to school, so we had to just leave him. It just feels so lonely without him because he's such a big part of our life. We decided to take advantage of the fact that we're out early and we're gonna stop and get coffee. I don't get coffee, I get this orange ginger quencher and I love ginger, you guys, so much. It's better than coffee. So this last week, Sam's been getting everything ready for us and so that when he went to have surgery and he's gonna be incapacitated for a while, we'd be all set. Ooh, he set up the fire, he stacked wood for us. Both of the girls are getting an opportunity to learn how to. Give me another piece, small piece. Uh, that one's got a lot of bird poop on it, it looks like. Ew, I don't want them. Oh my gosh. All right, close it up. Okay, so anyways, a couple weeks ago our furnace stopped working, I think I told oh. you guys that, and he, called the guys and they came right away and it turned out that we needed new burners or something, I don't know. So they ordered them and they came yesterday to install them, which was perfect because then I wouldn't, we wouldn't really have to worry about the fireplace. As soon as we don't let the fire die, we should be good. Yeah, as long as we don't let it die, starting a fire might be a bit difficult, but anyways. So they came to fix it yesterday and we were like, oh, thank goodness, like this is perfect. We're not gonna have to worry about the fire when Sam's incapacitated. And then he was here for like three hours. Wasn't he here installing it for three hours? It was a long time. And then he comes upstairs and he says that they ordered the wrong parts. I'm like, oh my God. So we're still dealing with fires, but I'm just grateful that we have a fireplace. We have a couple of fireplaces. So Sam ordered, so this house is weird. It has two different propane tanks. So one propane tank runs the furnace and then another propane tank uh, runs this fireplace. So he ordered um, propane for it, but like a few days ago before he was gonna get into a surgery. They haven't come yet. So they should be here hopefully today, maybe tomorrow, but then we'll have that fireplace as well. But we are honestly just so grateful that our house is warm. Like it's not, our furnaces has been out for the last two weeks and it's been cold outside, but we actually still have heat. We have a lot of heat. In fact, the reason I don't like the fireplace is because the wood stove is because to sleep when you have a wood stove is awful. Upstairs is so hot. That's our little baby kitty. We she love her. Even Sam, she was just in the kitty litter box. Even Sam loves her. Like we love everything about her. Gabby loves her. We're so good at sharing. We share her. She's sassy. <laughs> yeah, she's not like so super sassy. She's really good. She's but she's geek. not a cuddly kind of cat for sure. But honestly, what kind of cat is a cuddly cat? Um, just wait. Hey, so just wait. Oliver is. Well, he wasn't though. Okay, so what's our plan? What's our game plan? Oh, uh, we're gonna do the goats first. We're gonna do the goats first, and then we're gonna do the horses. This is day one of us, Sophie and I, doing it all. And it's all gonna go to hell. <laughs> hey, hey, don't say bad words. <laughs> Can you hear the baby? Last night I was so worried about this baby that I put a heating pad in here 
and it is warm like so super warm this back part isn't as warm I don't think it's good that she peed on it <laughs> but it must have kept her warm she was ready for her bottle <laughs> she's like yes <laughs> I've been waiting for you Remember how we first got her and she wouldn't drink it? Well, she got onto the bottle really quickly. We only want what's best. What's best for you. This morning sun is literally warming up this whole area. The sun comes here, uh oh, in the morning. Like even touching this door, it's hot from the sun. Like this is as hot as that heating pad. That actually makes me so happy because that essentially means that the goats will have a warm spot this winter. Okay, Ellie move. The duck and the goose want to go out, but Ellie is out there waiting for them so they can't get out. Come here, Ellie. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come on, come this way. Come on. Come. Come here. Come on. I have worried about the duck and the goose, like where they would stay warm in the winter, and I've noticed that they really utilize this room. So I'm probably gonna put some more hay in here. I put more hay behind this door, so there's like a windbreak, but they like it in here, and they've been coming in here. Is that door locked? Like, can you get through it? I'm just gonna see. Oh, I can get in here. Hi, Gracie. Hi, baby. <laughs> we forgot somebody. Somebody got locked out. <laughs> Can you tell who? This goat got a lot stronger overnight. Yeah, she got a lot stronger. <laughs> I gotta let Ellie in. Sophie doesn't want me in her domain. This is what. She, yeah, I can only help with cleaning. And holding the goat. I'm okay with that though. I like cleaning. My pony is trained, if your pony is trained well enough, you should be able to walk them without a halter. halter. Right. I'm gonna go here, hold your own goat. Because uh, I, I don't have to do chores. I know, but I need to clean my girl's eyes. To be honest, the horses are way easier than the goats. People have said that, and I do like think that goats are more susceptible to things. I do think that the little dwarf goats are less susceptible than like big goats, but I've lost Ellie. Come here, little girl. A storm comes running out. In the barn, Missy, in the barn. Grab your bucket, let's start cleaning, she says. <laughs> let's get it done. One thing about having horses at home, you can clean in your pajamas. It is officially 32 degrees in here. That is zero, freezing. Ellie. There is so much to do on a large acreage and one thing i've been dying to do is to get some of these grapevines down and build some christmas wreaths with them so that's what sophie and i are going to do today Sam. Yeah. We miss him so much. It's awful. It's awful not having him. We're so blessed to have him with us all the time. Anyway, I want to show you guys what we did this morning. We made wreaths from our grapevine. Aren't they cool? So that's Sophie's and this is Sophie's. I made them all by myself. She had a little bit of help. Look at how thick the grapevine is that we have. Like it's nice. But anyway, we made the, I made this one and then this one is way thicker. And then I'm selling this one. I love it. So we're going to go out there and we're going to get decorations now to finish making them. I'm selling this one. I think you, you Sophie loves it. She wants to decorate it and then sell it. But I, mine, my poor wreath, I need to make it better. Yeah, mine are great. So those I are the two sizes I made. Sophie's going to hang that one on her wall. Grapes. Don't eat grapes. 
Yeah, to make them look cute. We have so much more. I'm gonna like spend the next week making these because this was so therapeutic and so fun and so relaxing and cool. so messy. Look at our couch. But anyway, um, we did that. I love it. Eventually I wanna have a wreath for each barn door and our house door. Oh, we still have all this. <laughs> So I'm gonna at least make a wreath out of this. I'm, I'm probably gonna make one for Gabby too. But look at this nice thick stuff. Like those make the nicest wreaths. There's a problem. I don't know, but our little boy goat is screaming from an area of our farm that I don't know how he got to. <laughs> the goose is like, don't run. <laughs> Go on. All right, where is he? Either his voice is carrying him, carrying, or he's somewhere he shouldn't be. Oh, it's that boy. He went under the fence. He can't get back. We're coming. He remembers he, <laughs> Ellie went to get him. Come on. He remembers he went under a fence. He just can't remember. There he goes. That is how Honey does it. He's it's the goats probably ripping the fence up. You dumb boy. <laughs> what? He's like, yeah, I knew how to do <laughs> Ellie. Just headbutt her. Ellie. Ellie. Ellie, come here. <laughs> Let him go. Let him go find his mama. You're not hoping. Ellie. You're over there. Ellie. Oh, I didn't even bring a knife. I got to go back and get a knife. Why? Just pull them out. It's hard to cut. Hold on. So we're gonna go down the trail and we're going to, oh, all the goats are <laughs> climbing. They are all climbing up the, the hay. Uh, we're gonna go down the trail and we're gonna get some like green stuff and to make our wreath. And then we're gonna go, do you think we should wait for Gabby to go to the dollar store? No. Sylvie and I were gonna go to the dollar store to get stuff to make our wreath. And she wants to make Sam a get better soon basket. We're gonna get him all of his favorite things, all of his favorite snacks, put them in a little basket so that he can have them beside his chair. I miss him so much. Like you have no idea, but the surgery was fast. He said that he's been back to his curtained area, he doesn't get a room, for a little while and every time he wakes up and looks at the clock, it's a different time. So then he asked me that he had to go pee <laughs> and how, how does he do that? <laughs> So I told him to ring the bell and they would bring him a little, a little cup to pee in, a urinal. And he said, oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm thinking that he still has some drugs in his system. But we really miss him, you guys. Like, so much we miss him. And it's not that he does so much, even though he does so much. It's that he's here if I need him. He like, always makes life so much more fun and so much more exciting and not having him here makes life not as much fun. Does that make sense? Come on! Holly! Come on, Ma Ellie! Where's Ellie? Ellie! Ellie! Nuts! I know, look at how beautiful this piece is. Just wait. And I was gonna cut it off and Sophie said, I want it. And I said, you can have it. And the reason that I said you can have it is because this is how you teach your kids to be kind and compassionate and considerate is to be kind and compassionate and considerate to them. It's always teaching them. <laughs> it is. I, want I teach everybody I meet. Don't you know that you're beautiful?